Welcome to Yoga Mint's Food & Flow. I'm Melissa, your healthy food chef. And I'm Camilla, your yoga instructor. Today's focus is harvest, and I'm gonna harvest a simple and delicious quinoa strawberry salad for you. Mmm, and I'm gonna harvest a breath that's really magical and it's gonna help you feel more alive. Oh, I need that. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, let's do it. As you know, today's focus is harvesting. So today I'm going to harvest an amazing quinoa strawberry salad. You're probably wondering, what does harvesting have to do with yoga and food? Well, a lot, because harvesting is basically a particular action that you put forward into your life and you create something positive from that. So we're gonna harvest an awesome salad today. I'm using quinoa today. It's a really versatile grain. Well, it's actually a seed, but it's really versatile because you can put it in salads, you can put it in soups, you can use it with greens, you can just use it anywhere in your life and it's really simple and easy to make. It's considered a superfood, it comes from South America and it cooks really quick. I'm also gonna add some fresh yummy strawberries which are in season right now and I'm so excited to taste them. They're really fresh and they have lots of antioxidants and vitamin C. We're also adding some scallions for a little kick. I have some almonds today, you can put any nut in the salad you want. You can put pistachios, pine nuts, any kind of nut that you like. I'm also using some fresh mint to give it that fresh, lively taste and an avocado, which help adds the healthy fats to the salad. So we have a great mix of complex carbohydrates, healthy fats, and protein in the salad because quinoa on itself, by itself is a perfect protein. We're gonna top it with an awesome dressing that's so simple and delicious. It's made with fresh squeezed orange. We have some fresh squeezed limes. I'm gonna add some Dijon mustard, a little bit of agave nectar, and some olive oil. So let's get started putting this together. So this salad is really simple to put together. We start with cooked quinoa. I'm gonna add some fresh strawberries in. You can just cut them right in half, or if you have big ones, you can quarter them. They smell so good. Add a little bit of sweetness to the salad. Then we're gonna add scallions, about three cut up, about three tablespoons of almonds. I'm actually gonna break the mint up with my hand, just to really release the flavors. Oh, it smells so good. And guess what? I'm gonna invite Camilla in to help me cut up the avocado. Camilla, come on in. And I got an apron for you. Hi, what you need? Oh, nice. I like it. Perfect. All right. Okay. Do you want to learn how to cut an avocado? I do. Check this out. Okay. So we slice it right down the middle. Mm -hmm. Really simple. I eat about 10 of these a day. Is that like God's perfect food or what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Do you know how to take the pit out? Really easy. Pop, pop. <laughs> I've started my own avocado farm at home. I grow all the pits. So you just slice oh, you it do? down. Yeah. Really? How big is it? Okay. Oh, I have a tree that's this tall right now. So you just you slice it like down, that. and then across. Uh huh. And you want to scoop it out into the salad? So just like following just, the skin. Yeah. Okay. Just scoop it right out. And it's already diced up, so you don't have to do any other cutting. Hey, look at that! Perfect. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> look at that! Beautiful. Wow! Look at this. This looks so good. Did the same. Do you need the other one? Nope, just one side okay. is good. Thank mm. you. Wow, look how amazing this looks. Can you smell yeah. it? Yeah. All right. So now we're going to make the dressing, which is using half of a fresh orange. We're going to squeeze that right into a bowl. Get your hands in there. It's really good to get your hands in your food. Infuse it with lots of love and lots of good energy. A little bit of lime, half of a lime. Mmm. About two teaspoons of agave nectar, raw dark agave nectar, low glycemic sweetener, and about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And lastly, we're gonna whisk some extra virgin olive oil in there. Probably about two tablespoons. And this will give you a nice, sweet, light dressing to put on top of the salad. Mmm. It smells so good. So you're just going to pour it on and mix it up. And if you want to top it off with a teeny bit of sea salt, you can do that. 
mix it up. And I recommend popping it into the refrigerator for about an hour and just let all the flavors melt together and it becomes really delicious. How beautiful is that? I can't wait to call Camilla back and share it with her. Just like we harvest food to nourish our bodies, we're going to harvest a breath to give us positive qualities. In Kundalini Yoga, there is a powerful breath that's rarely used in any other yogas. It's called Breath of Fire. It has many beneficial qualities and one of them is to, to lower the blood sugar, but also to cleanse the blood and to make, you feel, uh, to make you feel more alive and alert. This breath works with the navel points and when you think about it, that's where it all began. When you're in your mother's womb, that's where you got your breath from. And in yoga, the navel point is considered the most active point on the body. If you do this breath for five or 10 minutes a day, that's all you need to help cleanse your lungs, to make them stronger, to get more deeply in touch with your breathing and set yourself up for the rest of the day. It's also said that breath of fire can help clear away karma and disease. That's worth a try, don't you think? So we're going to come sitting uh, cross-legged on the floor and um, we're going to come sitting up with a straight spine and just slightly tuck the chin in. It's called a neck lock. You just want to make sure that the spine is really straight. And we're going to put our hands in Gyan Mudra, which is the index finger and the thumb touching. But what is Gyan Mudra? It's, um, it's very often used in meditation. The thumb represents the positive self and the index finger is the wisdom, the Jupiter finger. And when you create this seal, it helps the body to understand and learn easier. So it's very good mudra to do for meditation. And the breath goes from the navel point and the inhale is normal, but the exhale is forced and you push the navel point in. So it goes, in the beginning, why don't you put a hand on your stomach and you inhale and force the exhale and start out slowly and then build up speed and strength until you feel comfortable to, to vary it at whatever feels good to you. Now there are some people that have developed a habit of breathing opposite. So on the inhale, they inhales, they, they have the reversed breathing pattern. So if you are one of those people, there's about 10% on this planet. It's going to take a little extra time to learn this breath, but it's worth it. So let's try it out. Close your eyes and focus on, on your breathing. Begin with three to five minutes a day. And when you feel that this is easy and speed and strength, you can, you can go longer. This breath will make you feel more alive, sharper and more alert. And it's a really effective pick-me-up instead of a cappuccino. <laughs> Enjoy, Satnam. Thank you for joining us for Yoga Means Food and Flow. Today's focus was harvest, so remember, eat fresh, Breathe deeply and, and be, be in, in the, the flow. flow. You ready to try this? I am. Mm -hmm. What do we got? I helped quinoa? out, you know. I know. You did a great job. Oh, and the quinoa. Mmm. Mmm. So many textures. My favorite things. Avocado, quinoa, and almonds. Don't That's you love so the rich. flavor? Oh, there's mint in there. Don't you love the flavor of the mint? Oh, it's yeah. so refreshing. Really mm -hmm. good after that breath of fire. And very summery. Mm-hmm. Mm. Great for a picnic. You have to try it.